All right, I wanted to follow up on the Carderpio video, symbol ADA versus the dollar, as it basically hit our downside targets very close right there. Uh, we were saying like mid 50s, it hit down to 58.40 uh, or so. So I would be looking for maybe, you know, it might have one more grind out of the lows or so, but ultimately I'm probably looking for a bounce here first than anything. I'd only, conti I'd only call continuation to low 50 cents if you see a full hour closure below 60 cents even. Uh, at that point, I'd probably be looking for a move towards, I think it was uh, 53. Let me just double check. Uh, yeah, 53 to 54 or so if that were to happen. Until then, I do think short term it's a little more likely to bounce here and I would confirm a nice little bouncy bounce with any sort of a four hour closure above about 68 cents in that case. Probably looking at a move somewhere around 74 to 72 or so. Again, that is not the same thing as a reversal. Obviously, this one is still long-term heavily bearish here, but uh, bear market rallies can be pretty aggressive and pretty nasty and, uh, you know, could even come up as far as like, you know, mid to upper 70 cents. But long-term, heavily bearish as long as you're especially below 90 cents, let alone like a buck and a quarter. So if you are just looking at the short term, I think it's a little more likely to bounce here. We're seeing a lot of extremes here on full hour and, uh, and even up to, I think, daily. Uh, not necessarily there on a daily yet, but uh, but 12 hour BBWP showing that we are at extremes here. So at least a bit of sideways and then probably a bounce attempt, maybe the time that uh, CPI data releases later today. If we go over here to the daily, you will notice that daily stochastic momentum will turn back up above 67 cents. Um, if that condition is met, I'd very likely be looking for that move into the mid or deep 70 cent region. 12 hours already there at 60 spot 80 and uh, six hour is probably gonna be there as well. Yep, is upside angled above 63 cents, which you're actually below right now. And four hours is actually at 66 cents. So maybe I take that back. It's still among some of the weaker assets in this market, um, but I still would refrain from calling continuation to like, you know, mid to low 50 cents until you do see a four hour closure below 60 uh, cents right there. Until then, you know, is this thing more likely to bounce off these regions? Uh, I, I, I tend to think so, yes, but uh, I would be waiting for that closure above that region uh, specifically earlier. And then, yeah, probably looking somewhere around more like 75 cents, actually. Um, and then we'll come back to it after that. But again, I want to just reiterate that long term, I'm heavily bearish on this below one, one and a quarter. Anything uh, less than that is a lower high. And on a monthly uh, basis, I, I do think longer term, it probably does have more downside. You know, this is probably like months down the road, although I, I've never been great with timing, uh, but probably somewhere down around about 35 to 45 cents or so. Um, yeah, maybe we can also pull a fib on this one as well. Let's just see. Uh, yeah, 30 cents looks good. <laughs> um, if that fails, and I guess 17 and a half, it's okay, <laughs> but fair enough. Hopefully that was helpful.